Title, MNHS On Air, English on Radio. Topic, 21st Century Bicolano Authors. Format, School on the Air. Length, 15 minutes. Script writer, Luville Manaog Bagasina. Objectives, at the end of this radio episode, grade 11 students will be able to Enumerate the famous 21st century Bicolano authors. Examine a sample literary text to relate its significance from students' region or province or town and appreciate the contributions of Bicolano authors to the development of regional literary traditions. The module that I utilized is the one coming from the region the writer is Ma'am Fatima Yuneda. Editors, Ma'am Emily Dollot and Ma'am Anne Mancha. Reviewers, Ma'am Cleofe Ariola, EPS English, and Albay Division, headed by Ma'am Mai Anne Rondola. Students in grade 11, this is your MNHS On Air English on Radio, your radio that offers enjoyable and significant learning activities in 21st century literature. Today, we are glad to guide you in your study through this radio broadcast. I am your host, Ma'am Luville Manao Bagasina of Milaor National High School. Again, this is MNHS On Air, English on Radio. Today is September 9, 2020. This morning, we will have an interesting lesson. Make sure that you are comfortable where you are right now. Please hold your module so that you can cope up with our step-by-step -step activities for the day. Please prepare your notebook and pen for note-taking of important details. Oh, by the way, have you eaten your lunch? Did you wash your hands? If yes, get ready and let's start. Today, class, our lesson is about 21st century Bicolano authors. 21st century Bicolano authors. As Bicolanos, I am sure that you have heard about Daragang Magayon. She is one of the characters in the legend of Mayon Volcano. But did you know that there is a literary piece with a title? Yes, you heard me right. You will discover its author later because it's one of the questions in the pre-test. I want to give you some reminders about how to use the module. Please be reminded that you shall write your answers on the answer sheet or on a tablet paper and not on the module. Okay, now are you ready to enrich your knowledge today? Let's start! Our objectives for the day are the following. Enumerate the 21st century Bicolano authors. Examine a sample literary text to relate its significance from students' region or province or town, and appreciate the contributions of Bicolano authors to the development of regional literary traditions. In your module, you have a five-item pretest. I want you to write your answers on your answer sheet or tablet paper 
while I am reading the questions and options. So what we will do is to identify the works of some Bicolano writers by matching column A with column B. Let's start with column A, number 1. Merlinda Bobis. 2 is Emelina Regis. 3 is Francisco Peñones Jr. 4 is Ernesto Pesimo Jr. And 5 is Jaime Jesus Borlagdan. These are your options in column B. A. An upon sa ibalon kan mahale ang maskara. B. Two faces of the forest. C. Daragang magayon. D. Maynila, libro ng pobya. E. Sangaran ni Aki. Are you done, students? Did you take a wild guess? That's alright because it's just a pretest. These are the correct answers. 1. C. 2. B. 3. A. 4. E. 5. D. What are your scores? I hope that you got fair scores. Now that we're done with the pretest, let's unlock the difficult words in the text that we will discuss later. The words are slumped, gushing, crumpled, devour, weeping, shattered, clenched, brutal, wafted, and untamed. You will apply context clues to complete the sentences. Just like earlier, while I am reading the incomplete sentences, choose the best answer. She blanked the piece of paper into a ball and tossed in the garbage can. 2. The tigers blanked their prey. 3. Everyone has been blank over the baby. 4. He blank his fists in anger. 5. The movie is a blank depiction of the war. 6. She fainted and blank to the floor. 7. A breeze blank the scent of roses towards our table. 8. She suffered a blank that took them out of the competition. 9. The man confidently explores the forest and unafraid of blank animals. 10. The rock blank the window. Finished? Let us check your answers. 1. Crumpled. 2. Devoured. 3. Gushing. 4. Clenched. 5. Brutal. 6. Slumped. 7. Wafted. 8. Whipping. 9. Untamed. 10. Shattered. How many correct answers did you get? Hopefully, you got high scores. This time, we will proceed to the reading and understanding of the text, Storm by Jaime Jesus Borlogdan. Allow me to read it to you. This is the weight stripped off by the sky. Mixed are the earth and water. If the disorder will be put back in place or traced, it would be like peeling away from a sticky embrace. Twisted are the limbs of electricity and branches broken by strain, slumped at each other. The leaves, the pebbles which tore the windows, scratches, sap were the solidified tracks, marks of the gushing path of the ocean which walked the earth last night under the twisted moon whose beam was inward to its own gloom. The embrace of the Habagat, south wind was a weeping tide, brutal pressure was
desire is to devour the world in one clenched hand, almost without fear, almost close to be like love which enveloped all. On the roads, in the veins, the waiting which was met by anxiety, wafted like untamed horses. At the cleaning of dust, the morning was a crampled sheet, remained with the soil naked. There in the falling of the flower to the dirt which nursed the root bloomed the scent of the trampled upon grass. In the surfacing of light, clarity again is formed. In the shattered container, this alone is what is kept. In the long digging, this is what's in the pit. the poem? Let us find out if you understood the poem. Write your answers on your answer sheet or tablet paper. What is the poem about? Number two, how did you find reading the poem? Three, how did the author describe the aftermath of a storm? Five, if you were the author, are you also going to illustrate the situation after a storm in the same way? Why or why not? 6. How is the poem significant to the lives of the Bicolanos? Let us check your answers. For number 1, the poem is about the aftermath of a storm. Number two is self-evaluation. Were you sad or gloomy? In number three, the author described the aftermath of a storm in the following. There is disorder. Electrical wires are twisted. Windows are broken. There are scratches. The place is muddy. Did you get it right, students? Number four is an opinion question, so any answer will do, as long as it is related to the query. Your answer can be yes, because it is the real scenario after a storm. Last number. The poem is significant to the lives of Bicolanos because it is our experience almost every year since the Philippines is a typhoon-prone country and it teaches us to be ready during a storm. How's your score? I hope you got all the questions correct. Now let us get to know the Bicolano writer, Jaime Jesus Borlegdan. He is popularly known as Jimpo Borlegdan, a multilingual Filipino writer, songwriter, graphic artist and musician. He was born on March 6, 1979 in Tabaco City, Albay, Philippines. He is better known in the Tabaco underground scene as the frontman and guitarist of the band Creer Bathala. On July 14, 2000, Borlagdan released his collection of poems in Filipino, Manila. Libro ng Obia, which is now considered by his young followers as an important and influential collection. This time, you will learn more about the 21st century Bicolano authors and their famous masterpieces. First on the list is Sir Francisco Peñones Jr. He sounded a clarion call in his poem, An Opon Salbalon, Can Mahale and Mascara, The Board in Ibalon When Unmasked. Society, he declared, is the board that brought hunger and poverty to the land. For this poem, Peñones received a CCP award. Wow, a Bicolano writer who is a CCP recipient. I was lucky because Sir Francisco Peñones was my professor in my master's degree. 
Second on the list is Merlinda Bobis. She wrote a masterly poetic drama titled The Ragang Magayon, Beautiful Maiden, who returns the passive maiden in the legend and makes her decisive to do her part in changing society. In her poems, Bobby subtly presents an idealism associated with remembering one's childhood, each of them a strong and evocative portrait only thoughtful, sensitive poet can create. For this, she merited a Palanca Award, another award-winning Bicolano writer. Third is Carlos Arius. He weaves together theology and philosophy to present Bicol values and a panorama of Bicol scenes. In ten well-written stories, a novel and a play, he wins the coveted Palanca, CCP, Free Press, and Graphic Literary Awards. Amazing! Fourth is Emelina Rehis, who won a Palanca Award for her environmental play, Dalawang Muka ng Kagubatan, Two Faces of the Forest. Fifth is Barbara Barquez Ricafrente, who writes poems and paints with rage. She is the first novel awardee of the UP Creative Writing Center. Sixth is Maria Lilia Reyelubit, who is a recipient of the National Award, Alagad ni Balagtas, by the Union ng Mga Manulat sa Pilipinas, and is a National Book Awardee, 1987, for her book Philippine Drama. Twelve plays in six regional languages. She wrote the first book on Bicol history and literature, Bicols of the Philippines. Seventh is Estelito, Esteng by Lon Hakob, who wrote the collection of poetry. Seasoned writers include Luis Cabalquinto, Godet Calieja, and Rudy Alano. The young writers are Home Life magazine winners such as Angelica Gonzalez, Ernesto Pesimo, Jasmine Yana, Victor Velasco, Nino Manao, Saver Olin, and Cynthia Bulza, Marco Lopez, Alvin Yaban, Ulysses Aureus, and Lorenzo Paran III are young literary fictionists of search for self, identity, and nation. <laughs> juncture, let us know the significance of authors in the development of regional literature. Local authors play an important role not only in the development of regional literature but also our national literature. They have enriched the Filipino culture, preserved the heritage of our literary arts, and helped in introducing and exploring our humanity as Filipinos. Indeed, Local writers are the core of regional literature. Since we're running out of time, students, I will just ask you to answer the enrichment activities found on your mojo, together with the generalization, application, and assessment activities. We will check your answers tomorrow. Please remember to write your answers on your answer sheet or tablet paper. I hope you have gained something from our lesson today. You can still reread the module so you can review the concepts and copy the important information on your notebook. Thank you, class! That is the end of our lesson. I am glad that I get to teach you through radio. Again, this is Ma'am Ruville Manaog Bagasina of Milaor National High School. Till our next radio lesson. Have a great day ahead.